Hey folks, this is my 2018 KTM 250 XCW. I bought this bike back in December of 2017, so I've had it about two months now. I'm going to talk today about some of the modifications and upgrades that I've made to the bike. I have 21.8 hours on the bike. One of the first things I did was put on some Cycra Pro Bend hand guards, replace these flag style hand guards that came on there. I wanted something a little more substantial for a hand guard. I changed the grips to these ODI Rogue grips. These grips have a little bit bigger diameter than the original grips and there's more cushion in the grips. This is the original grip, it's just a half waffle style grip. So these are really nice grips, I like these a lot. I also put this ignition mapping switch on there. These bikes have two ignition maps. One is a standard map and the other is a traction map. So I put that switch on there. The only way to control it if you don't have the switch is to plug or unplug a wire that's under the gas tank. So this switch comes standard on the six days models of these bikes. I added that. It replaces the upper clamp on the front brake master cylinder. So this is the original clamp and that switch just goes in place of that clamp. I added this trail tech tachometer and that's come in handy for tuning, setting idle and adjusting my air screw on the carburetor. One interesting thing is I put this trail tech tack on when the bike had 6.1 hours and this, this tachometer also has an hour meter. So I had 6.1 hours when I installed this and now it's reading 20.1 hours. And this, the hour meter on the bike is saying 21.8. So somehow this trail tech tack hour meter is recording more hours than the KTM hour meter. Not sure why that is. I added this KTM fan kit, and it's a really nice fan kit. It reads the current temperature of the coolant. It's also got settings where you can change the temperature where the fan comes on. While I'm on this side of the bike, I also changed the brake pedal to a little bit larger pedal. So this is the original toe pedal that came on there. and I kept missing that with my boot. You can't see the clutch, but I put a new Henson FSC clutch kit in here. The original clutch was dragging when the engine was hot. So this is the original clutch. And you can kind of see there, if you get the lighting just right, you can see the wear pattern on these plates. And I think the reason why it was dragging is that these plates maybe aren't as flat as they should be. And I put the Henson FSC clutch kit in there, it completely remedied the dragging problem. KTM bikes use a Belleville spring instead of individual clutch springs. And the way it works is that this gets compressed by a ring when you install the clutch and this uh, spring flattens out and that's what actually creates the spring effect. This is actually the spring that came with the Henson kit but I reused the KTM spring because this spring really increased the clutch lever pull quite dramatically. So I wanted to keep the weight of the clutch lever pull the same as it was before. I changed the head on the bike. This is the original head that came on the bike. I changed it to a head from a 250SX. And the 250SX head is just a little bit shallower. The squish band creates a little more compression. There's the head, there's no difference. You can't tell any difference from looking at it from the outside. But that is the 250SX head. I am currently running the green spring in the power valve and I'm running the stock setting for preload spring. I'm running that green spring just to even out the power band a little bit. This is my first two-stroke bike, 
and now that I've got about 22 hours on it, I'm getting pretty accustomed to the way the engine reacts to throttle input, so I will probably change that back to the original yellow spring soon. And I have the KTM skid plate. One of the major changes I've made is I changed the carburetor on the bike. The 17 and 18 KTMs come with a Makuni carburetor. And I bought this Kian carburetor from JD Jetting. This is a Kian PWK 38mm Air Striker. Short body carb to fit the KTM. This carburetor comes with the JD Jet Kit. I got the air screw and the idle adjustment screw from Slavin's Racing. These are really nice and allow you to adjust these settings by hand without needing a screwdriver. Here's the original Makuni TMX carburetor that came on the bike. I bought the JD Jet kit for this carburetor and worked with that for a while trying to get this carburetor just right and I just really wasn't happy with the performance overall. I bought an Enduro Engineering soft seat. So I'll probably sit down more than I should, but that seat is very nice. The original seat came on the bike pretty hard. I put a Kenda Washugal 2 dual compound rear tire, and I'm really enjoying this tire. It's getting really great traction. In addition to the tire, I added a tubeless. So with the tubeless, has a high pressure chamber and a low pressure chamber and you can run down to around five pounds in the low pressure chamber and that allows for really good traction. So that's an overview of the changes I've made to my 2018 KTM 250 XCW. Thanks for watching.